Does Windows 11 freeze during booting up or during startup? Here are five quick remedies to get your system back up and running. At first, tap and hold the power button to shut down the system. Then, very carefully remove detach the system from the power source. Now, remove all the external USB devices, like external HDDs, Bluetooth adapters, Wi-Fi dongles, from your system. Once you are sure that your system has not a single external device connected to it, just connect the power cable to your system and switch it on. Open the CD-DVD slot and make sure it is empty. Now, press the power button on your machine to start it up. After this, wait for the system to start up. If your machine is still freezing during the boot, go to the next solution. At first, turn off your system completely. Then, detach your system from the power source. Then, open the casing. Now, you can visually inspect the components. Take a close look at these components. At first, check whether the RAM sticks are working. Detach the RAM stick carefully, clean those up and reattach them again. Next, check the cooling system on your system. Finally, blow out all the residual dust from the component using a hand blower. If you see any of the components are not functioning properly, you can consider it faulty and you may need to replace it. Otherwise, if everything is just fine, just put the casing back again. Connect the power cable to your computer and boot it up. At first, switch off your system, then switch it back on. After that, once your system starts up, just press and hold the power button again to force shut down your system. Just repeat this task for one, two times more, and for the third time, let your computer boot up normally. Your system will go to the automatic repair mode automatically. Once you see the automatic repair window has appeared, tap on advanced options. Then click on the troubleshoot to troubleshoot this issue. After that, tap on the Advanced Options to go to the next page of Settings. In the Advanced Options window, click on the Startup Settings. Now tap on Restart to restart the system. Then, just press the F4 from your keyboard to choose the Enable Safe Mode option. This will automatically boot your system into Safe Mode. Once your system boots up, you will notice four Safe Mode inscriptions on the four corners of your desktop. At first, press the Windows key plus R keys together. Then, write appwiz.cpl and click on OK. When the Programs and Features window opens up, you will see the list of apps. Here, right-click on the space and tap on Sort By and click on Installed On. You will see the most recent installed apps at the top. Just right-click on the app you want to uninstall and tap on Uninstall. Now, just follow the on-screen instructions to complete the process. Later, once you are done, Restart your window and it shall start up normally. At first, boot your system into the safe mode following the steps mentioned before. Once you are there, press the Windows key plus R keys together. Then, type ypowercfg.cpl and click on OK. When the Power Options window opens up, click on the Choose what the power button does. Now, Tap on the Change Settings that are currently unavailable. Now, uncheck the Turn on Fast Startup, recommended. Then, tap on Save Changes to save this change. Now, restart your computer normally. Check whether this works out for you. At first, boot your computer into Windows Recovery Mode. Once you are there, tap on the Advanced Options. Further, go this way. Troubleshoot Advanced Options. Then, tap on System Restore to open the System Restore settings. In the System Restore window, choose the Choose a Different Restore Point box. Then, tap on Next. After that, choose the Restore Point of your choice. After that, click on Next. Finally, tap on Finish to start the System Restore process. This way, allow Windows to go back. Your computer will stop freezing while the system boots up. Thanks for watching. If it helps, make sure to hit like and subscribe.